My name is Christian von Königsegg. For half of my life, I've been on the quest to be a leader in the hypercar industry, utilizing Swedish design combined with visionary technical solutions. So I'm going to show you our uh, connectivity that we've developed for our cars. Um, so we started out creating a 3G module uh, for the Agera range, which means we can communicate with the car, send over the air updates, have app, an app functionality for our customers to communicate with the car, and also uh, data log uh, the cars for improvement and checking the conditions of the cars. Um, for the Regera range, we have upgraded this to a 4G communication. Uh, it also allows the, um, uh, the drivers to access internet in various forms through our infotainment system. So it's, it's really a multiple uh, functionality system. But it, it's basically there to improve the experience uh, for the owners and drivers um, and for us to be able to learn as much as possible about the cars over time. Um, so on this screen here we can see our, um, let's say, monitor, uh, cloud monitor where we see, for example, one of our test cars here driving around. If we scroll down here, we can see, uh, well, our building here and how we're driving on the roads backwards and forwards to our test track. But also we can see the G-forces, the speeds, um, if we scroll down a little bit more, we can limit the ranges and check in closer. Uh, areas for more detail and if you go to another menu you, you can also see I mean we can keep track on suspension settings, aero settings, uh, boost pressures, uh, fuel pressures, basically anything that's going on in the car uh, so we can build statistics over time for yeah really seeing how the cars are operating in the field and taking that data into future over-the-air upgrades and for future car models. Um, for example, if you go to uh, the log where we see the clutch and clutch wear and battery conditions and things like that. Uh, let's see here. If you look here, you can see uh, the starting voltage, uh, the clutch wear over time, odometer settings. So it's re really a useful tool. And this data also relays to the, uh, to the Koenigsegg app, if you can show that here. So you see the car here, your car, you can see your fuel level, uh, the starting voltage, uh, your odometer, uh, clutch wear, but also you, when you have an over the air up there, you can see where the car is, of course. And anyone, I guess, with a, with a modern car, like a Tesla or something like that, is used to this kind of features. But what's a little bit different is that we also send uh, information uh, to the owner's app if they have an over the air up, update and they can update the car from the phone even, which is a little bit unusual. And we're building more and more functionalities into this. For example, stats, if you're going around a racetrack, you can see your, your lap time, your maximum G-forces, your, your top speed. We only allow that for, for uh, track use, as we don't want to encourage people driving too fast on the normal road. Uh, but it's kind of a nice feature. And then we're planning to build in also sharing features between the customers so they can compare their lap times to G-forces, their driving behaviors and so on. This also ties into our preactive system. So when you come to a racetrack, if we have a, a preset uh, well, package of data, that, meaning we've driven on that track before and done a setup for the car, you, can, you get an, a signal in your app and you can download uh, over the air to your car specific uh, shock absorber settings, bump, rebound, ride height, aerodynamics, boost even. So that when the car goes around the track, depending on its different geo positions, the car resets itself for optimum performance. And that's something very unique. It's, it's also not allowed in racing. That's, 
in, in, in racing classes. That's why it's a bit unusual, but this is a road car and we just want to make it the best road car on the track with the systems we have on board. So therefore we can uh, have fun with these things. Um, I think over the years this will evolve more and more into more interesting features, uh, but we're already at a very interesting stage with this development. So, so stay tuned for more info as we go along.